Welcome to my Cisco's Routing Switching and Essentials Lab. This is Lab 4.3.2.5, the investigation into directly connected routes. So, let's hop over to R1 first. Let's get to our CLI. Let's go and get logged in. Let's start off with a show IP route. So again, pay attention to the way the letters are. These correspond with this material up here. So we can actually see that things that are connected. So here is directly connected to that interface. Here it is directly connected to that interface. So how do we have two things connected to the same interface with different IP addresses? Pay attention to the subnet mask. Notice that slash 23. So these are all, both of these are part of the same network. Notice this guy is a slash 32. So that actually is a dedicated uh, IP address or a, a fixed address because that means we're not editing any of the bits. All 32 are accounted for so that is the address. So what options uh, could we have? We'll go through all of the appropriate questions. Which IPs are assigned to the LAN interface in R1? Again if we're looking at these guys right here you should be able to get the appropriate responses based off of this information. Realistically, we're applying the 172.31.20.23 network to gigabit 00. Now what IP address is assigned to it? We'd probably have to do a little bit more. Uh, maybe a show IP interface brief. So there is a little bit more to it than just looking at this route table. If we're looking at this guy right here, this is directly connected to that interface. So I'm kind of curious, what is that IP address? So let's double check our PC. Notice this is a directly connected or link local ad uh, address, and our PC is actually showing that as our default gateway. Our link local is what's local to that device. So that actually is the IP address of our gigabit zero zero, just like this is the IP address of our gigabit zero one. So those are taken care of. We can do the same thing with R2. Get logged into it. Show IP route. Those are going to be appropriate interfaces. Again notice they have the appropriate subnet masks and the appropriate uh, addresses. This is probably the IP address of the gigabit zero zero on R2. This is the appropriate IP address on gigabit zero one on again router two. So we've finished step one. Alright, so let's hop back to PC1. Let's go back to our terminal. Let's issue an IP config so we can see the appropriate IPv4 address and the appropriate IPv6 address. Let's do the same thing for PC2. And that's kind of what I was expecting was 2210 address or 172.31.22.10 address because again that's falling within the same range that uh, our author has been kind of doing. 
So I'm going to go ahead and move these off to the side. I'm going to pick up PC3. Same thing for PC3. I'm going to do an IP config. A and again, we're pretty much doing dot .10 as our PC. And this is our network ID, so that's what I was expecting. I'm going to do the same thing for PC4. And again, same thing. Uh, our author is like to use that dot .10 for our PC. So, from PC4, I'm going to go ahead and ping this guy over here. And it timed out for the first one. As again, it has to do an ARP request. So, PC4 can talk to PC2. Can PC4 talk to... PC two. I think I just said this was PC two. PC one. So four and one can talk. Let's see if four and two can talk. And again, that first packet should drop, but the remaining should pick up. There we go. So PC four can talk to PC one and two. I'm gonna hop over to PC three. I'm gonna do the same thing. Can PC3 talk to 2? Yes, it can. Can PC3 talk to PC1? Yes, it can. So we are actually good on this end. So looking at the output from the route table in R1 and R2, what might indicate the reason for a success or failure between PCs 1 and 3? Well, PC1 and PC3 did communicate because there are routes. When we did our show route on these, show IP route, so here we have router 1 and router 2. And we have the appropriate information. We have this whole static route at the very bottom that says send everything that you're not sure out serial zero. Same thing here. So pretty much, if router one doesn't know it, send it out serial zero. If router two doesn't know it, send it out serial zero. That way we're able to pass data back and forth. That's why this works. So let's go hop over to step two, or sorry, part two. Step one. So what networks are available on R1? Alright, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do a show IPv6 route. And you, again, can see the appropriate IPv6 routes, both unicast. And so from router 2, same thing, get logged in, show IPv6 route. And again, we can see the link local, we can see the directly connected, we can see the static uh, connection routes. So I'm going to move this kind of just side by side. So, which networks are available? There they are. What unicasts are drill available? These are our global unicast addresses. What networks are available for R2? Same thing. So now let's talk about can we go back and forth between PCs 1, 2, and 3, and 4? So, successful portions for our communication should be, again, this whole send anything out serial zero 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 interface. And that's on both of them. So that means when the router receives it, if it doesn't know what to do, send it out that serial zero interface. 
So let's go ahead and I want to do from PC3, I will ping both PC1 and PC2. Notice that it's an FE80 address. It's a link local address. Well, the problem with link local addresses is they don't actually exist outside of those links. So I want to take a different approach to this. So here is on R2 I'm going to try to ping from PC1 I'm going to try to ping a global unicast address this should be the IP address of gigabit 00 on R2 and I should get a response because again this is the global unicast address on PC3 I'm gonna try to ping the global unicast address from one of the interfaces on R1 again the global unicast address you'll notice you should not be able to ping an FE80 outside of our local link. And that's actually into the slab. Click results. Everything should be there. Thank you for this.